New on 2 News at 6 in HD, rising violence in Oklahoma's juvenile facilities has prompted officials to take action. 2 News reporter Sarah Goldenberg has the latest from Oklahoma City, where the Office of Juvenile Affairs held a special meeting today. From the use of mechanical restraints to even armed guards, the Office of Juvenile Affairs says some changes are needed. Some wonder if transfers from the Raider Center sparked all of the problems. As the Raider Center in Sand Springs continues its closure, juvenile offenders have already been transferred to other facilities across the state. Many are here at the Central Oklahoma Juvenile Center in Tecumseh, known as Kojak. It's very urgent because, you know, we've had two instances of uh, the Tecumseh Police Department coming out of uh, potential riots. Uh, in the past 16 years, we've only had to call them out twice. The Oklahoma Public Employees Association believes the closure of the Raider Center, the state's only high security facility for juveniles, is contributing to the violence and changes need to be made in the existing facilities. We can try to re rehabilitate these individuals now or when they're 20 or 21 years old, we're spending 30 or 40 thousand dollars a year on in a maximum security facility because they went out and committed additional crimes. Jean Christian, executive director of the OJA, says these issues are deeply rooted in the juvenile system. It is driven by the fact that we continued to kick this can down the road. It's time to quit kicking, it's time to settle. Many offenders in the system have committed violent crimes, from murder to armed robberies. Christian is urging the OJA to look at using mechanical restraints, pepper spray or tasers, or even armed guards. Because now we are to the point that staff and youth are being harmed again, and we think we can do a better job. The OJA board will discuss ideas for additional enforcement at a retreat next week. In Oklahoma City, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.